pace car pulls in. Gary Godso's driving that thing today, I think. As we come to the green flag here at the Brickyard, as we get tuned up for some racing in season number seven. Back straightaway, Julian's gonna pop out already. Which fuel save could be in play, of course, with the 80% fuel. Forsyth back here with Matthias Strauss. Craig will definitely give us some good uh, feedback on this. I can see the car washing out just a little bit there. That should give the run to Marrera. Let's see if he takes it. He is. Here he comes inside, and then Julian up there for the lead. Oh, something happened to Dan. No, Dan. Oh, he got sideways. The Geisel leads all to the Daniels, Tucker, Richter, Forsyth. If you want to be a part of this league, if you're watching, like, what is this? There's the Discord, by the way. You can go join them. And uh, I believe they have over 40 signups for VOR already this season, which is one of the bigger numbers we've had in a couple seasons. So a lot of um, excitement uh, with the earlier start time now. Uh, this time next week we'll be at Texas Motor Speedway running race one. Who comes to pit road here? Luke Daniels, Julian Altita. And at least four cars in, 25 laps on a tank. Strauss in the Indy 500 winning paint scheme of Marcus Erickson. <laughs> That's tight. That's tight. So we're going to see Geisler, I think, calling his way to pit road here. Let's see if Craig comes with him. Craig will not. And Woodall will stay with him. So those two are the last two to pit, just like they were in the last cycle of pit stops. So now we've done two green flag cycles. Here's Luke Daniels. I think he's throwing caution to the wind. He realized he's about to pit a third time probably. So... The question is how he strategizes this. So Forsyth and Woodall pull away. So that should cycle everything back around here again. And let's see what kind of splits we get now. With 25 laps to go. All right, so there's your top two. And Forsyth obviously just falling back. Here's Geisler. Should be able to jump Forsyth, I would think, here. Or is Forsyth going to pull an overcut here? Look at that. To fourth, he'll pull in line. So... About 1.7 back. Oh, it's Ty Richter. Oh, Richter's in the wall. Craig Forsyth here. He has the most fuel in his car. He can go full tilt. So can uh, Lewis Woodall, but Lewis has fallen back now. I wonder if Lewis got damage on his car. And look at this, here comes Tucker. He's like, hey, let me pass you guys. You just passed three cars in that corner. He went all the way from fifth to second. Forsyth jumping out of line. So Julian's really going backwards now. <laughs> We've turned this into a fuel mileage race now. That's yeah, Luke. Okay, Luke's coming in and so is Tucker. So them two cannot make it. Hmm. And somebody else, Julian coming in. Oh boy. And how about that? Matthias actually overcuts Luke Daniels. That's impressive. Three wide and a three. Yikes. Now I'm starting to wonder if I've created a monster with this package. This is the battle right here. An early two and a half seconds uh, behind Lewis Woodall now. So obviously the draft is very overpowering we're seeing. All right, Geisler had to come to pit road, so now the fight for second. As we hit the final lap, it's Forsyth. Well, how about that? I mean, yeah, there maybe could have been a caution or two, but we're going to make it all the way to the finish. How about that, Forsyth? Could this be a preview? Gets a preseason win at Indy. Nice job. Now the fight for second way back here. Oh, it's tight. Oh, they tied each other at the line. Wow. There's your separation. 